Leaving the Highlands and heading to the Highlands. We're here down in the low country of South Carolina near Edisto Beach. This is Botany Bay, one of my favorite places. It's north of Edisto. There's a Botany Bay Plantation and Heritage Preserve. You stop at the gate to register where you're provided with a drive-by tour map showing the plantation grounds. And there's also great beach access to the one and only Driftwood Beach. This is a very protected beach. Lots of conservationists and lots of information if you're intrigued in learning about this eastern shore of South Carolina. Today the tide's low, which makes great scenery for photographers or just any beach lover. This is not a collecting place, as I will reinforce a few times. $450 per item, shell, artifact, or anything you take off this beach. Enjoy it without taking anything. So you have a nice little boardwalk hike down to the beach. I would say you're pushing about a mile. Very level, but make sure to take in the scenery. Check out those oysters. Healthy water. Got little mud minnows trickling around in there. Oh, it's nice to leave those mountain streams and come down to the salt water. All right, we're gonna make our way further down the boardwalk. Mm, making me hungry. Blue sky. As you're walking down the boardwalk, you'll start noticing driftwood, polished by the sea. We're walking out towards Hammock Island. And let me tell you, Hammock Island sees some brutal storms. Brutal. We're just before the Atlantic hurricane season started. It's actually St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patty's Day to everybody out there. Drink a Guinness or take a shot of Jameson for me. We finally reached Hammock Island. Boy, that'd be cool to see a painted bunting. We'll keep our eyes open during this video. Spot one, let me know. We finally made it to the axis of Driftwood Beach at the end of the boardwalk, where the gates open. Depending on the tide, you can be stuck at this spot having to wait for the tide to go down before you even have any access to this beach. You have to crawl through all the palmettos to find a spot waiting for the water to fall. But today we came at low tide. Like I said, a photographer's glory. So much to see. It's almost impossible not to find your own peaceful little happy spot. So many nooks and crannies and ways to disappear from people. And it is just a beautiful preserve. Nature, shells, I don't see any trash anywhere. You just get that good healthy vibe when you step foot on this beach. We took a right once we entered Botany Bay at the end of the boardwalk. We're walking in towards the inlet. I just like it because you can see the variety of shorelines from the natural erosion happening, all the different colors from shell banks to clay banks to almost like an iron concretion to mud banks. Um, I'm definitely not very educated in what these banks are, but I'm sure when you're here, if you ask somebody, they can break it down into great detail. But we'll just take in the scenery for now. Here's the point. So if this isn't your first time watching this channel, you know I like to collect things. And it's really hard coming to such a beautiful spot, seeing these huge whelk shells and not taking any home. 
trust me, it's well worth it. While you're here, you gotta do a little community service though. So there's a catch to everything. Everybody likes to look for things. So the key to this place, you wanna find a whelk shell and put it up in a tree. Create some tree art. It's really neat. They go away after the big storms, but the longer there's a nice dry period without any extreme wind, this place becomes magical. Across that inlet is Eddingtonville Beach. Just south, Edisto. Big jellyfish. Again, do not take anything home from here. This is what you need to do. Take part in some community service. Feel free to pause and read the rules and regulations. But all you really have to do is find these whelks and put them where somebody else hasn't. It becomes quite fun after a little while. Where you're told you have to put shells on trees. Get in there. Oh, I forgot to show the shell. Yeah. Probably from big storms getting into this tree over here big orange guy yeah. you also want to make sure that the whelks are dead so if the shell is beautiful and it looks like it just came out of the water most likely there's a good chance the whelk is still alive they can pull themselves back into the shell where you can't see them so make sure to throw them back to the tide if you can we'll put a little top hat on that guy I saved you. Well, we already got some twins up here. We'll go way up here. Can she fit? Now I gotta go that way. Now, I don't even know what to think of this. This was standing just like that. I think it's a type of coral. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I should leave it standing up like that though. But as you see, all the microorganisms are breaking down and working together. It looks like coquinas that are growing on the driftwood. Everything has its own symbiotic relationship.
good walk from both ends. The rest of the video is if you were to take a left at the boardwalk. It seems to be more decorated with shells and trees. And more scenic. But like I said, it changes every time there's a storm. But we'll keep adding them to the trees and help contribute to the community service. It really looks cool when a bunch of people put the effort into it. So I'll do my part when you do yours. I hope you enjoyed this video. Something different. That's a great example of a whelp right there. Such a special place, Botany Island, Driftwood Beach, where shells are part of trees. Well, that concludes my trip to Botany Bay. I'm gonna leave you with the sounds of nature on my walk out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please keep this place the way it is.